What's up, what's up, what's up? It's time for another reaction video. Today we're going to be watching a video on the prisons in Finland. I've actually heard a little bit about it and just how free and open they are, so I wanted to watch a video and learn a little bit more about it. Anyway, let's get started. This man is serving a life sentence for murder. I'm sorry, I'm a little body conscious, as you can see. I've gained a few pounds. I see body conscious. A dip in the frozen lake behind the prison is part of his regular workout routine. No problem. It's okay. Okay, your turn. <laughs> Welcome to life in one of Finland's open prisons. There are no cell blocks here, just dormitories. Inmates come and go in their own cars. How do you call them dormitories? When Matty isn't at the nearby university campus, he's in his dorm room, studying for a career in tech. Some entrepreneurship books, marketing books, user experience, all kinds of uh, digital and uh, IT studies. And we have this kind of normality principle that prisoners should be treated equally even though they are prisoners, but they should have access to same services and rights as, as other citizens. In recent years, Finland has been named the happiest and safest country in the world. Citizen okay, I get that. I get that, but how can you be the safest country in the world when you're letting murderers just walk around, go to college? That doesn't make sense. And also, like, why is a murderer just allowed to like drive off in a car or go to school with citizens that that's just mind-boggling to me i don't understand it citizens here enjoy generous public benefits universal health care subsidized daycare for children and free college tuition promotional films like this produced by finland's criminal sanctions agency document how prisoners are eased back into society with work opportunities and help from counselors and the incarceration rate here is one of the lowest in Europe, a quarter of what it was in 1950. In Finland, so I mean, only one in three right. former convicts ends up back in prison. Compare that to the United States, where two out of three get locked up again within two years of release. A 2018 bill included sentencing reforms meant to reduce what is referred to as recidivism, but they only apply to inmates in federal custody just 10% of the 2.3 million people incarcerated in the US. Critics say the 2018 reforms are only a small first step and fall far short of the kind of meaningful change Finland is so proud of. The scale, of course, is different. Today, there are fewer than 3,000 in the Finnish prison system. The number of people behind bars in the US is equal to half of Finland's total population. A reimagining of what prison looks like here started nearly 70 years ago, when this Scandinavian nation began building one of the most humane systems in the world. In some of the latest steps, Finland's Criminal Sanctions Agency is investing heavily in technology training. The first topic is uh, what is AI, uh, then the second topic problem solving with AI. And building a state-of-the-art smart prison for women and even testing VR to provide an oh, wow. escape from the drab cool. walls and fluorescent lighting of Turku, Finland's highest security closed prison. Mika, who is 10 years into a 15-year sentence, <laughs> is walking through a 3D forest. <laughs> he appreciates... So yeah, that's that's really cool. Um, just, just the fact that like, I'm sure I, in a prison like this, I'm sure that they actually have windows, but being able to like experience virtual reality and seeing on top of on top of technology is actually a really good idea. And I, I definitely think that's kind of like a humane way to treat prisoners in a sense. I mean, if you're going to be in prison for like 10, 15 years, but again, if this is the most secure prison, do they, or does this prison not allow their prisoners to get out like the other one? I don't know. It would be interesting to learn more about these. Creates the chance to interact with VR technology and learn the basics of working with computers. Mm. 
niin on sanonut ihan suoraan, että ei siellä pärjää, niin kuin, että siellä on niin paljon erilaista tämä kaikki niin kuin tämmöset, mm. että kaikki on niin paljon tietokoneistettua, että mm. olisi hyvä saada sitä oppia. Mm. We try to uh, educate the prisoners to use digital services in a meaningful way, so that it would really help them to rehabilitate, that help them to take care of themselves and take care of their really daily small. affairs and the kind of things, the kind of skills that you need when you reintegrate back to society. Now Finland is investing in the infrastructure to support that readjustment, a 34 million euro prison that many hope will set the standard for the future. No bars, glass windows, an internet connection in pretty, every pretty room. Fancy, geez. All touches meant for comfort. This is the I mean, it's still, it's still small, but I mean, it's really nice. It's I mean, just look at that huge window. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when it opens in this fall, the brand new facility in Haminlina is expected to be Europe's most high-tech women's prison. But just across the road, a reminder of the past. The old facility, built in 1972, once housed both men and women. It shut down in 2019 after years of disrepair, mold, and other reasons. This was before toilet. And where did they empty it? I take this and put there. The smell was terrible. Okay, so yeah, with a little bit I know about the prisons here, they still have toilets. I mean, Grant sometimes it was like four, four, eight guys to a cell, and they're openly sharing the toilet, but there is still at least a toilet. So I don't know. I don't know how recent they were using toilets in Finland. Or sorry, I don't know how recent they were using buckets in Finland. And just a few minutes' drive away, a relic built in the 19th century and modeled on the American style of prison that is still widely in use today. Cell blocks arranged in a radial floor plan, prisoners living in solitary confinement. This one is a museum now, preserved to show just how hard prison life here used to be. For Matty, the road to reform has led him to a career that he would never have dreamed of before. He connected with Reactor, a digital agency that designs online education courses. When they heard he was participating in this story, they invited him to give some feedback on the program. I'm eager to hear, like, what did you think about the first course? What did you see? What was your general impression about it? It was shown quite simply what is AI, what isn't AI. Very so good. that was that was really good, and uh, kind of like show that it's not about magic. Seeing him in this meeting, it's easy to forget that Matty is still serving out his sentence for murder. In that time, he hopes to complete a university degree and start a business. One way to get... That just still bothers me that he's, that he's a murderer. Like, what... Do they have, do they have like, do they have different, like, levels of murder? I mean, was it, like, an accidental death and that's why he has so much leniency? Or, I don't know, I, I can't imagine, like, a first-degree murderer here with premed premeditation murder i just i can't i can't fathom a country just allowing them to walk around freely go to classes learn i'm not saying that that's like that's all really great stuff but i just i just feel like you would want to keep them like even just in the dormitories or something but just wandering around driving their own car and stuff just just i can't get my mind around that kind of like Employed is of course self-employment. So, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of prisoners have already the entrepreneurial mindset. <laughs> Based on Matty's recommendations, Reactor is planning to add an entrepreneurship course to the prison curriculum. It has like enforced my trust in also like this Finnish prison system, where, yes. where like giving chances to put people like you, like yeah. it's, it's it's awesome. After the meeting, Matty heads back to Loka Prison, but he is excited for the future. At the beginning of my sentence, I, I thought that this is, there, there can only be negative things in being in prison, that basically life is over. But I think you should give people a chance. That's the most important thing. Uh, I don't 
understand that. It's just crazy. So yeah, compared to American prisons, I mean, that seems like really nice, like a cakewalk. Um, I, I like a lot of the ideas that they're implementing, like uh, teaching inmates, getting them back out into society, teaching them skills, keeping them on technology. Um, I know that can be a a drawback when they've been in prison for like 20 years and they don't even, they don't know how they come out and they literally don't know how to do anything um so yeah i mean it's, it's really cool that they're keeping them up to date giving them education and stuff but it just it's crazy to me that you can like murder someone and go to prison but yet you're still just walking around it's pretty much like you're going to college like it almost seems like his life is better before killing someone than it was after. Now, of course, they didn't explain his backstory or anything. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I definitely disagree with a lot of the American prison systems. It's pretty much, a lot, a lot of it's just like slave labor in a sense because they only make, I think, like 10, 15 cents an hour. The Not just the government, but like the prison itself is making a lot of money off the prisoners for the labor they do. Prisons are overcrowded. The health is awful. Food is terrible. And a lot of times, like, obviously, yeah, but, at least my mindset is if you're a murderer and stuff you may not necessarily deserve like five star meals every day all day but yeah like a lot of the misdemeanors like tax evasion and just really small um crimes i don't think you should be going to you know a prison like this would make sense where like if you stayed on the dormitory or whatever learning a new skill and stuff that'd be awesome if we had that but if you're a prisoner for murder or rape child abuse anything like that I just, it just doesn't make sense to me just to let someone freely walk around. I know America definitely needs to uh, have a change in their prison system. I know right now they did, I think, just decriminalize marijuana. Uh, so that, that's a good uh, reform that they did. But I don't think they're going to pardon everyone that's in prison right now currently for marijuana possession. Some people have been there for like 20 years, which is really sad for such for something that's now legal in several states. And will most likely become legal federally here pretty soon. So it's interesting to see, but it's still mind-boggling. I just cannot get around the fact that he's in for murder. That's what is crazy to me. But I don't know. It's, it's, I would definitely like to learn more. So if there's another video out there that explains more in more detail, I haven't seen one. So if there is one, if you guys could please recommend it um, and co comment and just let me know. And I'll try to look it up and... Maybe I'll do a video or not on it, but at the very least, if, even if I don't do a video on it, I definitely want to watch and learn more about it because it's, it's just a very, very different uh, society and system that they have. But anyway, that is all I have for tonight. I'll see you next time.